Hello every pony out to Luciana here, link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine, so please go and give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. It's also going to contain my personal opinion, so click away if you don't want to hear about that. And it's also going to contain a top 5 of magical items that I feel once were Metal Brooks items or how to say that. And um, because we have heard Twilight talk about these magical items that a person named Metal Brook once made and I just wanted to have my 5 on the list so here we go, 3, 2, 1. So the first magical item is the book, uh, you know, the Necronomicon book that turns everything into what you want. So, you know, uh, gold and sapphires and so on, uh, whatever, you know, rarity desires she gets by reading the book when she's under a spell. I really do feel like this is a book um, that actually backfired or how to say that for Metal Brook. I actually feel like she was trying to make a game book or how to say that um, a, bo a book that could fulfill your uh, darkest or deepest secrets or how to say that your biggest desires without any uh, consequences and I know that it sounds a little bit weird but I do like the thing that you're getting possessed uh, of a spell and then you need to break the spell to get out of the possessiveness. And I also feel like the book could actually have possessed Sombra, uh, but that is for a whole other theory and I also talked about that in my other video so if you like that theory maybe you can go and see in my later videos what i did about that okay for my number two thing we actually have the love poison and the reason why i'm thinking that it was her that made this is that i don't know if it was actually cadence that made this even though that she's the you know descendant of amora and she knows you know love magic and stuff like that it's not the same as saying that she was actually the maker of uh, this book and the love poison i feel like the cmc actually um, did that and the real thing that mitchell brook made was actually a normal love uh, po uh, potion or how to say that not a poison so i actually feel like there's some potential in bringing you know that back or how to say that where metal brook was learning the cmc how to make the real love poison uh, po potion sorry about that instead of the poison but that is just uh, idea so yeah and i don't feel like they're going to do that in the show but okay yeah for the next item is a little bit special it's the box near the tree of harmony and when you know twilight opens it there's a rainbow inside i really do feel like this could be a metal brook item because uh, we don't know anything about metal brook so i don't know if she could have created the rainbow inside actually or she um, maybe is the creator of the elements of harmony twilight actually says at one point that she heard about the seven metal brook items or what it's called and uh, none of them was a staff so the one I have later on as my items is like, I'm going to explain it, but yeah, uh, just keep with me with this. I really do like the idea of her making the box and, you know, Twilight may actually meeting Metal Brook and finding out what the seven items is and if she has the 
you know, if he if she know about the seven magical items, also feel like maybe the Elecon amulet and other stuff could actually be metal brooks. But yeah, and now for the next one, and I know that I just said that it couldn't be a staff, but the next one here I actually have the dragon staff and um, keep with me here I actually feel like it was a gemstone only before it became a staff and that is what you know Twilight was reading about a powerful stone of uh, you know that can give the ability to a dragon so it becomes the lord of all dragons it could be that Middle Brook was a dragon, we don't know that, um, so yeah, that could actually also be very interesting to if, you know, Twilight meets her and she finds out that she's a dragon and maybe, you know, Spike could have some relations uh, to her, it could be his mother or something, I don't know, I just really want to have a more episode with... Um, you know, dragons and the uh, scepter here. So I was actually thinking that could uh, be a great idea. Okay, yeah, for the last one, it's actually not an item, but nevertheless, I'm going to talk about it. It's also one of my favorite magical things, so how to say that in the MLP universe, and that is actually the Tree of Harmony, because if she is a dragon and she can breathe fire and she was under the spell book and she made crystals, maybe she is the one that made the uh, Tree of Harmony and the Crystal Empire and stuff like that. And it was actually a city meant for dragons and not ponies. How uh, Amora got the hold of the city afterwards I don't know, maybe she made a deal with the dragons about something or, you know, Sombra was, uh, you know, overtaking and actually killing the dragon responsible for making the Tree of Harmony. But I actually also feel like it could be a pony disguised uh, as the Tree of Harmony, but we see that it... Um, you know that the after the box appears from the tree of harmony we actually don't see the tree anymore uh, besides when you know it's growing up and becoming twilight's castle i'm guessing i'm not quite sure about that or if the tree of harmony is a totally different thing but i really do like the concept of the tree of harmony i have always wished for seeing the tree of harmony in real life and touch it <laughs> i know that it's maybe not possible but i really do like the design of the tree of harmony and the concept of it with it holding the elements of harmony and being the center point of all of the energy or how to say that and and power and magic that there is in equestria and also you know it giving up uh, its items to help twilight or how to say that so i really do like the tree of harmony and it could be very interesting if it was you know metal brook that actually made the tree or did make the elements of harmony as i talked about before because then it would be technically seven things it would be seven you know items of jewelry or gems or how to say that and in the original ones, I actually feel like the Elecon amulet or the dragon crystal or how to say that could be a part of the elements that was not on the tree. But yeah, it's just me again rambling on about my weird ideas. So that was my top five uh, magical items that I like and I feel that Metal Brook actually could have made or it had some relationship to but what do you think about this is it uh, something that you feel that the writers is going to uh, come up again is it going to be other seven items I actually 
did a old video where I talked about what the seven items could be. But yeah, it, this is just a new take on that idea. So do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And that was actually all for today. Yeah, okay. Bye.